Rick finds out the guy he's wrestling is uh, not the legal man, so he just dumps him out. That's one way of doing it. Well, Conrad Lobs takes offense to it, has that chair. Lobs is so slick. Not quite as slick with that chair as Conrad Louts was. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners by disqualification, Marvelous Destiny! Yeah, God, Marvelous Destiny wanted it. Yeah, Team, team Honey Badger didn't lose. Well, but a little count as a loss. But I think they're still going to argue that they prevailed. Yeah, that's... for the Michiana title. Let's hear it for Nasty Nick Zero. Oh no, we're always happy to have you here. We're excited, we understand that you're a busy dude. Super busy dude, you will be facing two men, two men today in this ring for the Michiana title. How do you feel about that? How I actually feel is I just noticed with these old peepers of mine, and you probably noticed yourselves, that Jorge is with the circle of dust, which means they're gonna try to pull a fast one on old nasty one. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. I need, and it's about time, and I know all of you have been waiting so patiently for this belly, to get some gold to wrap around it, ain't you? Oh yeah, you hear that? Oh yeah. And here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna beat, not one, not two, wait, no, two. I'm gonna beat two, my bad, I don't wanna count. I'm gonna beat two men, and I'm gonna have that Michiana title around this nasty waist. Nasty Dick will be challenging for that title in ju uh, just a moment. But up next, we will be. I was the appropriate amount into it. We'll have the Super Junior Weight title up next. Are you looking for the coolest gear this side of anywhere? Well, check out AmericanLuchaLibre.com and get your American Lucha Libre and Capital Pro Wrestling merchandise. Bomber jackets, fanny packs, wrestler t-shirts, and so much more are available for you at AmericanLuchaLibre.com. Get your gear, and we'll see you at ringside. Jason, 
place and you claim yourself to be the best of the Super Junior Weights, well, let me tell you right now, you're entering a whole nother level. You aren't just facing any person. You are facing the Geek God Mason Keller. And it can only win one way. Game over for you. Tonight, the world's greatest super junior weight is taking on the Greek God Mason Keller. Well, Mr. Keller, let me tell you something. When you step in to the world's greatest super junior weight yard, you have a lot coming at you, and nobody has gotten out of that yard with the one, two, three. This belt means everything in the world to me, and it will be staying around my beautiful waist. And that's a truth, and that truth hurts. Ladies and gentlemen, this singles match is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the Super Junior Weight Championship. Coming to the ring first, from Auburn Hills, by way of Strong Badia, Weighing 195 pounds, he is the Geek God, Mason Keller! The Geek God, yes, from Strong Badia. Huh. Strong Badia. And his opponent, weighing 161 pounds, from Tulip City, USA. He is the Super Junior Weight Champion, Jason Blazer! He is the world's greatest Super Junior Weight. He has held that title for over a year now, I believe. Oh, almost two. It's a long, long title reign. Somewhere in my production notes, I had that number written down, but I forgot to carry the one. I mean, he's not wrong. Jason Blaze and coming in hostile. He's always coming in hostile. He is an angry man. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He is mostly shoulder chip. This is our super junior weight division. Blazin had argued for years that there weren't enough challengers of his size. So he has gone out of his way to find some. Yeah, but Capital Pro has done a lot for the career of Jason Blazin. He does not seem interested in this matchup. Interested in seeing what Mason Keller the Geek God brings to this ring. Looks to be just a, a technical takedown. You know, earlier in the production meeting, I uh, saw Mason Keller and I said, hey, for a Greek God, you need to be more tan. And he goes, no, no, I'm a Geek God. Yeah, Geek God, I'm totally different. Yep. Auto correct got me again. Yeah. yeah. Jason Blazin has a uh, solid amateur background, which of course he transitioned to the pro, pro wrestling. Another arm drag. Big drop kick out of this geek god, Mason Keller. Nice drop kick. Seems to have an answer to everything Jason Blazin presents him with. The kid is on a house on fire. I mean, I guess you can assume that a geek's going to do his homework, right? I would hope so. So, yeah, I mean, you could bank on it being well scouted, but he still has to follow through on it, and he's doing that. 
Yeah, there's only so much dice chucking you can do. Yeah. What's the saying? Everybody has a plan until they get smacked in the mouth? Well, uh, Mason Keller is showing that he is he is able to make a plan and execute it even after getting smacked in the mouth. Or, yeah, or raked in the eyes. Or raked in the eyes. A couple of elbows, rake in the eye. Blazin might have a uh, an amateur background, but he is not above using any of the uh, the tricks or tactics of the pro circuit. Sound fundamentals, though, taking a body part and working it. 100% crack, 100%. Hangs that leg up so yeah. he can bring all of his weight down on that joint. What he doesn't have in size, he definitely makes up in skill. Yeah. Precision and hostility. Oh, and the figure four locked in. Mason Keller, nowhere to go. Oh, our referee's gonna have to start checking to see if those shoulders are on the mat. Yeah, that big Kel one. Keller's fighting his way out of it. He's almost, well, he's reversed it. Yeah. Putting all the pressure back on the applier's joints. Excellent work by Keller. Is Blazin gonna lose his title to his own move? Keller breaks the hold himself. I think the wear and tear on his legs were too much for him to hold it, even though it was damaging Blazin at the time. <laughs> it's, it's funny when you, when you see somebody wrestle with, with such an angry streak, you wonder what the backstory is, and these guys have none. Blazin's just a jerk. Yeah. Gets, what did he do to make Blazin so angry? Showed up today. That's what he did. Blazin, yeah, just yeah, dropping his straps, not dropping the boots. Looking to hurt oh. this Capital Pro newcomer. All the way to the top. A high risk move for Jason Blazin. He doesn't throw up top a lot, but when he does, oh my God, was that an elbow drop. Huge elbow drop. With authority, Jason Blazin. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still super junior weight champion, Jason Pro fans joining me at ringside, Super Junior Weight Champion Jason Blazin. Champ, congratulations on that title defense. It was supposed to be Blazin all day, but as of late, it's been Blazin only me. Where's RC3, the bodyguard? Gone. Where's the guru? Gone! Where's the accountant? She gone! So today, I've got applications out because it's placing all day and I am still your world super junior weight wrestling champion. And that's the truth. And you know what? The truth Ladies and gentlemen, that's Jason Blazin saying he's looking, looking to pick up new members of Blazin all day to help him defend that Super Junior Weight title. Capital Pro Wrestling will be back at the Fledge throughout 2024. Our next event is Saturday, March 10th at 3 p.m.
Come see the best and brightest the Great Lakes has to offer. The Great Lakes television champion, Keith Green, will be in action defending his title. The Purge will also be defending the Great Lakes tag team titles against the number one contenders, Marvelous Destiny. Also in action, Thurston Scowl, Jason Blazin, and many more. The entire schedule is available at AmericanLuchaLibre.com. We can't wait to see you at ringside. Capital Pro Wrestling, you have been waiting so long for me to have gold around my waist. Now is the opportunity the Michiana title. And the Circle of Dusk is going to try to break that opportunity, and they will not. And it will be around this nasty waist pan down, baby. Oh, zoom. Can you zoom? Oh, you can't? All right, never mind. Get in there, and it's going to be right here. I make my debut at Capital Pro Wrestling, and I got a shot at that Michiana title. I've run across Jorge a few times with his big, dumb, fat head, and tonight I'm gonna keep it so real that he's gonna forget about living in that gangster's paradise. Last time I was here at Capital Pro, I told you I was coming for gold, and as you can see, I'm a man of my word. Tonight in my first defense, I got Mondo Real and Nasty Nick Zero, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately for them, the first defensive man. This next match is a triple threat match, and I've just been informed it is a no rules triple threat match for the Michiana Championship. Man, let's lose the first. From Flint, Michigan, weighing 220 pounds, he is nasty, Nick Zero! I just hope the bondsman's open when I call yeah. it. No, he is match out. Oh, this doesn't. This is not going to end well for anybody. The title can only change on a pinfall or a submission. No, oh, you said there's no rules. Well, I guess the second opponent the in this triple threat match is from Kalamazoo. He's weighing 195 pounds. He is the realest dude in the mitten. Mongo Reed. This is our first time seeing Mondo Real. Mondo Real. On the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. And he has chased this Michiana Championship, and he's chased it all the way And the final opponent for the Michiana Championship, he is the Michiana Champion, weighing 285 pounds from H-Town, Michigan, and representing the Circle of Dust, Big Horse! If this is a no rules match, you would expect to see yeah. all three of the Circle of Dust out there. If, if anybody hates rules, it's the Circle of Dust. <laughs> Thurston Cow, Scow, Keith Stoneman, Big Jorge. Big, Big Jorge looks good in this matchup to begin with. You've got to make that advantage at ringside. Really helps. Yeah, he outweighs, well, I don't know about outweighs zero. But uh, I think Big Jorge's got zero by, by a bit. But he also outnumbers. Yeah. I guess we could stick Chris with uh, Mondo <laughs> and Nick, and then it would be... Uh, I, I, they still have an advantage. Yeah, it's still be tough. Nick Zero lobbying to the ref, trying to squash the party. Nick Zero trying to eliminate that advantage Big Jorge already had. And 
Smart just move. like that. Smart move by referee Chris Young. Real smart. I don't know if the, the crowd... But I think we know how the crowd feels. Yeah. <laughs> Circle of dust is going to the back. I... But that definitely evens things up more for the two challengers. Nick Zero and Mondo Rio. And a triple threat, no rules match. Big Jorge doesn't have to be pinned to lose his belt. You are correct. Oh. So there goes the champion's advantage. Speaking of their champion's advantage, looks like these challengers are making a bit of an advantage for themselves as the two team up against Big Jorge. There you go. Mondo Rio looking, to, looking excited to get his hands on the veteran Nick Zero. He hasn't met him yet. He'll change his mind. Once he has to wash those hands. Some slick mat wrestling. Dueling arm drags. <laughs> That's a, I, I'm, I'm not sure what he would, would call that. A, an arm drag off? An arm drag race? I think arm drag race, we can let that one yeah. go. Big Zero goes low. Simultaneous drop kicks, both men with the same idea. Jorge out there at ringside, which, uh, which I've got to say might be kind of smart. Picking his eye, uh, picking his time there. Yeah, picked his spot to double clothesline him. Clothesline in the corner on rail. Clothesline on zero. Clothesline, picking him up. Huge T-bone suplex. Shows you the strength of Jorge there. Also a testament to the ferocity of this newcomer. Already acquiring gold. Gut wrench into a throw. Mondo Real being tossed about that ring. Both, both of the challengers, both of the challengers seem to be taken out of this matchup. Big black hole slam. Mondo Real able to kick out. Zero tried valiantly to break up that pin, but it wasn't needed. <laughs> He's like the little train that could. Yeah. Up and over. Zero said it's been too long since he's had gold around that nasty waist of his. Oh, he's looking, looking for a right cross, face. cross face. There, I think, I think Nick Zero knew that that might have been it. Yeah, I think he just saved it for Jorge. Yeah, I don't think he was saving Jorge there so much as, as taking something for himself. But Jorge's still able to fight back. Yeah, hopefully it works out for him. I'm pulling for you, Nick. I think everybody's pulling for Nasty. Big clothesline from Big Jorge. Nick Zero makes it to his feet, but Jorge's there to catch him. Can't get the suplex, though. 
<laughs> I don't know if that was Nick's plan or they just knew he couldn't get the big man up. Dropped upon his knee. Smashing his face into the mat. Yeah, he definitely made something out of it. I mean, that's, a, that's definitely much better than just a failed suplex attempt. Excellent wrestling by Zero. Somebody needs to work on their cardio. Uh, yeah, the, the, all three of these men have been been knocked around. Yep. Zero's the first to his feet. Not for long though, Mondo Real. Just tossing Nick to the outside. Mondo Real, I think, might have been playing a bit of possum. Oh. Big knee strike. Tornado. Tornado DDT. Nick Zero breaks it up. It's all those years of tag team wrestling. Zero always being their first partner. Yeah, Craig, uh, uh, Craig, I think Zero has some ring awareness that, that almost translates into speed. You know, he's definitely a crafty veteran. Mm -hmm. Smart enough to duck the kick. Mondo Real able to reverse that. What's a Nick? Nick Zero. Getting real on both of them, yeah. Taking Big Jorge up out of his comfort zone. You can tell it's not a not a place the big man is used to wrestling. Nick, Nick, definitely not above uh, going high risk. Nick's asking a lot for my ring ropes. Yeah. Zero. Oh, this could this could be devastating to the champion if this lands. Hurry, fighting for his life up there. Oh! Mondo Real able to capitalize smartly. I think the outcome would have been completely different if he would have covered Big Jorge first. You think maybe he should have gone for the, the I, man that took the most impact instead yeah. of just the closest guy? Right. You very well could be right. Hard to make those adjustments in the rain. No, nope. situational opportunity. Uh, Mondo Real goes for that Tornado DDT again, but Nick Zero to fight back. It's a no rules match, folks. It's a no rules match, what are you gonna do? Jorge with the win. Up and still Michiana champion, Big Jorge. Big Jorge, Circle of Dust, congratulations on that win. You congratulate me like it's a surprise. It ain't no surprise that I was gonna win tonight. You see, this may have been my first defense, but it's the first of many. I will continue to defend the belt here and anywhere else, and I will make this the belt to have in Michigan. That's, that is that is quite a title defense. E excellent land circle of dust. Where does this put you here, Capital Pro? Hey, now everybody realizes what time it is. Now everybody realizes the circle of dust ain't nothing to trifle with, baby. And you know what? I like what you're doing, man. Let's keep up the good work, Papa. <laughs> Big Jorito is here to stay. The champ, the champ, the champ. Circle of dust. 
That's Thurston Scow, Big Jorge, Keith Stoneman. They are the circle of dust. They hold the Michiana Championship. And I'm sure they want all of you to fight local. Next week on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase, the battle for the belts continues as Billy Ray Daniels faces off against both members of the Purge in a rematch for the Great Lakes Tag Team titles. In their main event, the only man to beat Keith Creed one-on-one -on -one in 2023, the Big Bad Wolf Ace Evans looks to take away the Great Lakes television title. Who will walk away with the championships? Find out next week on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase.